You know, on the business side, so we've heard a little bit about the technology, and now we'll talk a little bit about how people use this technology. And you know, you and I spend a lot of time talking about business intelligence and how MAPIC can really plug into those environments and extend those environments. So maybe share some of your thoughts about uh, about how how MAPIC can contribute to the BI world and through services or through the product itself. Sure. Uh, what I find really interesting about MapIt is that uh, we've been working with business intelligence vendors for a number of years, and we've actually got integrations with most of the major business intelligence vendors already. Uh, but those integrations have traditionally been done at sort of a, a skin deep level, if you will, uh, sort of a handshake between the various different products. Uh, back and forth, we exchange some data, uh, push things back and forth. Uh, MapIt is really very different. <clears throat> that tightly integrates the capabilities of mapping and map-based data and geographic data with the kinds of information that you might store inside a business intelligence system. So in some ways, you can think of it as, as uh, blowing out the capabilities of a business intelligence tool. Uh, business intelligence tools are very, very good at answering certain questions within organizations. Um, when you add the mapping-based capabilities and geographic kinds of questions that you can ask on top of that, it becomes very powerful indeed. Can you, can you give me um, an example of, of how this might actually work uh, with a customer in terms of how people use these technologies and when you bring them together, what they can actually mean? A while back we were working with a, a client who, who was managing uh, retail stores. It was actually uh, sporting goods stores. They were selling uh, sports equipment uh, to the public. And they had uh, four store locations actually in the Boston area. And they, there was a new sales manager who was in charge of that region, and so he wanted to look at the relative performance of each one of these stores. And so naturally, he decided to use his business intelligence system that he had uh, to look at this. And he could get a lot of information about that. And he looked at all four stores, and he looked at the inventory turnover rates. He looked at number of employees they had, the profitability of certain product lines, and so on and so forth. And he found that he had a number of uh, uh, similarities between these stores. And in fact, the revenues at each one of these stores was very similar. But he had this sort of gut reaction that it didn't, it didn't quite feel right that all four stores should be performing almost the same. But he didn't quite know how to get beyond the information that he had in his business intelligence tool. So uh, he had a conversation uh, with, with a fellow colleague at the organization who had background in, in using maps and mapping technology to answer these kinds of questions. And she suggested perhaps looking at the underlying, uh, underlying market areas around those stores and finding out whether you could really compare one store to another and whether they, in fact, were really equal. So that's exactly what they did. They used information that was stored in cloud-based services, and they enriched the data, the internal data in their business intelligence system with this external data, demographic data, uh, who lived within a certain trade area or a certain area around that store. And then they compared the underlying market to the performance of the store. And what they found was that, in fact, one of the stores was heavily underperforming because the market potential for that store was much, much larger. But they couldn't have gotten that information from only looking inside their store. They needed to get outside using geography and look at what's around the store, who lives around that store, to really understand the true market potential for that given store. And what's really exciting in my mind about this is that you don't need any particular expertise in order to do this. You don't need to get an additional staff to set anything up. You can implement it on your existing IT infrastructure. Your business intelligence uh, guru within your own organization can actually implement this on his or her own. Uh, and then augment the existing installation with these other cloud-based services for data enrichment and for other analytical capabilities, uh, which is, I think, very exciting. And will add real business value in the decision-making programs. So, Johan, thank you very much. So, so that's it. So that's MapIt, uh, a product that's easy to deploy, out of the box, scales within your enterprise, and can enhance existing business development solutions or help you build new ones. With that, thank you very much. Appreciate your time.